Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda on this beautiful Thursday, the fourth day of December 2014, counting down to the Christmas season. Lots going on, but we're going to add one more thing to your calendar for this Christmas season, and it's the Christmas in the Park 2014, and it's a fundraiser for a worthy cause, and of course, it's a family affair as well, so we're inviting you to go out. Sitting with me this morning to give you the details, we have Shantia Edwards, Marketing and Public Relations at the Antigua Commercial Bank, and also Jane George John, and she's the administrator at the St. John's Hospice. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. A pleasure having you with us this morning. Shanti, it's about the 10th year that you're having yes. the Christmas in the Park. I attended a few years ago. It was a really, really, really nice event. Tell persons what they expect or tell them about Christmas in the Park. Why are you putting on this event? Essentially, as you know, Antigua Commercial Bank, we always try our very best to give back to the communities in which we operate. So Christmas in the Park is an event that we do jointly with other vendors um, in the communities. We have um, persons that would um, contribute to lighting and stage management and tents and chairs and music, sound systems. We can't do it alone. So we come together and we host our annual Christmas in the Park event. It's a family Yuletide event and we it's like a Christmas concert of mm -hmm. sorts and there are lots of activities for the children, um, a whole exciting and fun lineup of artists and performances and we ask persons to come out and we ask for a small donation of the admission fee is five dollars or we ask them to contribute whatever they they deem appropriate mm -hmm. for the cause that we're um, we have identified each year we identify a charity to whom we give the proceeds from the the event to this year we have identified the St. John's Hospice mm -hmm. as the beneficiary um, of the Christmas in the Park event. And with me today is uh, Mrs. Georgian who will tell you about hospice and what it is that they do and why it is that um, it's important for Antigua and Barbuda to come out and support us and help us support them. Okay, this is George John. Shanti, I just asked you my question. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do at the St. John's Hospice? Well, at hospice we um, take care of people who have been diagnosed as terminally ill and we take care of them so that they can maintain as much dignity as possible in um, a relaxed, calm atmosphere, um, looked after by trained staff. Okay, but I've seen a few of them. Uh, is it all children? I've seen a few children. What, what's no, the no, age we don't, range? No, we have only had one child. I think maybe you're mixing us up. We, we look after people. Our youngest patient has been, was seven, okay. but our oldest has been 99. Oh, wow. So we cater to anybody that is terminally ill across the spectrum. It doesn't matter their age, um, and it doesn't matter what they're suffering from. So you as long as they've been diagnosed. For them. Food, clothing, medical attention. Yes. Everything for them. Yeah. Okay. So this will be um, a very, very good donation towards oh, uh, yes. the hospice. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely, because we are dependent on um, donations to keep our doors open. And if it wasn't for people like ACB, um, we wouldn't be able to, to keep on doing what we're doing. So how do you feel about being um, chosen oh, as the to bits. recipient at this year? Absolutely thrilled to bits. Okay. We're so glad that they chose us. And it's nice because, you know, ACB is an Antiguan institution and hospice is an Antiguan institution. In fact, we're the only hospice in the entire Eastern Caribbean. Barbados doesn't have, nobody else has. Mm -hmm. So we, we're both kind of trailblazers in our own way. But if someone, let's say, for example, um, there's a family out there or someone who knows of a person who perhaps should be housed at your hospice, um, how do they go about uh, getting that person in? They just call hospice. Our number is 562-8221. And what will happen is that we will take down the information and send one of our registered nurses to go and do an assessment or discuss with the patient's family physician to see if they are, in fact, a candidate. And then we bring them in. Okay, but um, at the moment, um, do you have volunteers or is it just, um, you know, practicing nurses or do you need um, anyone at this time? Well, we have um, an amazing team of nurse aides. They, they really are fantastic. And we have registered nurses, volunteer doctors. We do have um, volunteers that come in and do various things. We have 
a lady that comes every week and massages the patients. Oh wow! You know, people will bring a cake for their af for the patient's afternoon tea. People will come and do the gardening. Mm -hmm. You know, there are lots of different ways that people come and help, and it all adds up. You know, so that we have a cohesive operation. Okay, excellent. So, Shanti, are you going to be having choirs and performers yes. at the uh, Christmas in the Park? Uh, I'm do you know? Really excited about the lineup. So, I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, we have the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda oh, yes. band. Oh yes. We have Villa Primary School Steel Orchestra. We have East Five Steel Orchestra. We have Elisha Johnson and his. He's like a little. Um, powerhouse and his brother is now big enough to accompany him so <laughs> we have Elisha and Simeon Johnson who will be performing as well we have Tian Winter we have Claude and Peters oh, we wow. have TOK band with Lorena Davis we just have a whole host oh, that of is huge. performers um, lined up for the event and we Santa will also be joining us he'll he'll make an appearance um, with this little um, sack with Goodies. Goodies. Are you sure you only um, have to charge $5? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, people, pe please feel free to donate mm -hmm. a little more if you're in a position so yes. to do. Um, we have Bones Castle for the children. And the thing about um, Antique Commercial Bank's Christmas in the Park is we don't charge an admission for children, but the activities are free to them. Okay. So there's no excuse to not bring, um, you know, bring out your family mm -hmm. to enjoy what we have prepared for you this coming Sunday. I know the weather seems a little questionable. Um, the Met Office um, has indicated that there'll be a little... Um, you know, scattered showers Friday into Saturday, but Sunday we should Sunday be fine. Should be clear. So, and because of so. the slope of the, the park, you know, the water tends to run off, so we should okay. be okay on right. Sunday. Right. So I'm inviting everybody to come out and join us mm -hmm. and help us support St. John's Hospice. I do hope the weather holds off, and I'm sure if it doesn't, persons can still, I mean, if they're not able to attend, can still come, make, I'm sure, to absolutely. the bank and, and make a contribution absolutely. towards uh, that great um, the hospice. Yes. And I think in the in addition to the bounce castle, I think you're going to have face painting as well. Of course, we have face painting. We have, you know, we have a little children area. We have storytelling. We mm -hmm. have just, you name it. Okay. We have a whole lot of things planned for them. We can't tell you every single right. thing. But, and you um, have food and drinks on yes, sale as well. Yes, food and drinks on sale. And the vendors who, um, who will be participating mm -hmm. at Christmas in the Park, they also make a donation to, to the charity. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. they don't just come and sell, mm -hmm. they also contribute um, to, they will be contributing to St. John's Hospice as well. Okay, that's so it's excellent. So it's a community project. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to the support of okay. everyone. Right. Date and, and time? Date and time this coming Sunday, the 7th of December, 2014, starting at four o'clock. The children activities will start at four, a little music will be playing, but the actual concert will not get on the way until about 5.15 when it's, okay. you know, dusk. Mm -hmm. um, but as I said, we could not have done it without our sponsors. On board, we have Visual Echo, we have Wadali Event Services, Waste Management Solutions, um, Raven with the Generator Services. We have Townhouse Megastore, who will also be donating an item, which we will be raffling okay. on Sunday. So mm -hmm. you will pay an additional $5, and you get a chance to win an item donated by Townhouse Megastore. So we have a lot in store, and we think it's an opportunity for you to come out with your entire family, have a really good time. Um, we have amazing lineup, and we just invite everybody to come out and just join us for a splendid Christmas old-time Yuletide event. Okay. Any final words, Mrs. George John? Um, well, once again, I would just a huge thank you to ACB for thinking of us. Um, you know, it's lovely when people f from within the community, especially corporate entities, acknowledge hospice and the work that's being done mm -hmm. and the help that we need to keep the doors open. Okay. So big thank you to a ACB. Yeah. Thank you, yes, ACB. Great yes. job as usual. Thank you very much, ladies, for Thank coming for in and us. sharing with Thank us. You. I do wish you the very best on this Thank endeavor hope to see you on and future Sharon. endeavors. Yes, <laughs> and um, of course, um, you know, your donation to the hospice is really, really going to be very helpful to them. Thank you. It is good morning, Antigua Barbuda. It is uh, Christmas in the park at the Botanical Gardens this Sunday, the seventh, from four p.m. It's a family fair. Go on out. Great entertainment for the adults. Uh, 
lots of games and uh, storytelling, face painting for the children. Only $5, but if you can contribute more, it's going towards a very worthy cause for the St. John's Hospice. So please, if you can, please do so. And as you heard as well, if you can go by and um, volunteer in doing something with the children, you're also welcome to do that as well. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.